You are now tuned in to How to Nerd, starring Roxy Hayes and Brennan Edwards. Hey, everybody, and welcome to How to Nerd Podcast, your guide to everything nerdy. I am Roxy Hayes. Who was that? What was this? That was. Well, that you just was put your, an arm. That was to let you know. I like, can't be your lovely co-host. And or then, oh, just you wanted arm. a. You wanted. Yeah, a, I wanted some kind okay, of lead up. You want a little. Literally anything a besides. Adjective. You just gave me a whole hand point. You didn't even. You just stopped talking. I Vanna and White your it. arm. I Vanna White it. I'm Brennan Edwards, man. <laughs> Jesus. Are you? And welcome to How to Nerd Podcast. I'm so excited. This is our second episode. Yay. I don't like the sass. Okay. <laughs> so, how was your day? Ah, oh, my day was pretty good. You know, um, get my nerd life on. Get no. your nerd life on. Mm-hmm. Are you reading any books right now? I am. Um, one of my good friends, if you ever seen the animation podcast, mm-hmm. Rob Fonda, who's on that with me, um, he he let loan me uh, the uh, graphic novel Watchmen. Ooh. So I just started that. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, so I'm that's pretty happy with one. that. I'm actually reading a graphic novel right now too. The Red Hood one. I love Red Hood. Red Hood is fire. <laughs> Red Hood might be my favorite, my second favorite DC comic hero. Really? Mm-hmm. Who 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 would you say is number one? Oh, come on now, Flash. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's it's really f- like good. It's really funny too. Like I was never, I was definitely like I grew up Marvel. I was mm-hmm. definitely Marvel, but like I'm getting older, I'm like nah, DC like dark. It's extremely dark. Yeah. I that it was making me sad. Mm-hmm. I was like this is, but it was also like really funny too. So I was like yeah. I'm in there. I'm definitely in there. I like it. Well, I mean, for me, like the story of the Joker killing this man, wild. And then like Batman not doing shit about it, and he comes back and is just like, why didn't you, nigga? <laughs> like he comes back like he's still here. Yeah, you didn't. You he killed me. Crowbar. And what did you do? You put him back into the jail that he always escapes from. That's the his consequence was nothing. Literally nothing. Did you at least beat his ass? You did, okay? So you just caught him and put him away. Wow. You know what? It's- Fuck him it and fuck you. So Everybody sad. dies. You wear all your rules, no guns. I don't care anymore. I'm Gats doing whatever galore. I want. Let's go. Everybody's getting lit. Because he, he was like, "That's I'm your son, and I died, and you did not." It's, it is extremely sad, but it's, I, it's so good. I like his attitude. He's just like, I don't give a <laughs> fuck. Fuck all of this shit. I'll blow this shit up. So yeah, great. Hmm? Good times. I, I need to read Watchmen. I check out Watchmen. All right. So I mean, is there anything else nerdy that you have going on at this moment? Well, I knew you had an answer for this. <laughs> I like how you had to, you barely had to think for a second. It was like a half second. You're like, well, well, because I'm so I'm supposed to go to Nightmare Before Christmas. They're doing like a live thing mm-hmm. in in L. A. So I actually got on my like dope uh, Nightmare Before Christmas hoodies. Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't like scary stuff. I don't like horror, mm-hmm. but I do like like cute, creepy. So like Coraline, Hocus Pocus, okay. Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm all into that right now. All right, that's what's up. All right, so you know what we're talking about today? Yes. What are we talking about? Animation. I mean, it's it is a animation is such a big industry, mm-hmm. and it's so and it's gotten so much bigger during our lifetime. Because yes. if you remember when we were kids, there was just like there was like the stuff that came before us. There was like the Looney, the Tex Avery stuff that still was playing. Hanna Barbera and Hanna Hanna all Barbera. That. Um, they had those things, and then there was like the stuff that was like still coming out. So it was like we had like the Justice League. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Or like Gargoyles. I love Gargoyles. Gargoyles is a good show. They're supposed to be bringing it back. I hope so. Um, but things like that. And then we got into like, you know, then you had the uh, the rise of like Cartoon Network mm-hmm. and Nickelodeon Ni- Animation Studios. So we're looking like Cow and Chicken, you right. know, I Real Monsters, mm-hmm. you know, and all these different shows that, you know, Hey Arnold, um, that kind of transcended what it was to be animation. Because before mm-hmm. it was just like either you were really Super playful animation. or you're really serious, mm-hmm. you know, because it's like you watch something like Ninja Scroll, you know, you're yeah. just like. Whoa. This is a lot. Yeah, it's like heavy. And then the it's flip like, side is like two stupid dogs. Did you ever watch that? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course who didn't watch that? Like nothing's happening. Okay, sorry. I love I actually like two stupid Two stupid dogs. Two stupid dogs. Two stupid dogs. It's a great show. Great show. Um but you look at that as like a segment of animation. It's just like, okay, the American silly animation. And then you have like what people also consider pretty intense would be like anime. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's a whole wide berth of like different genres within anime because in Japan, Japanese, do you know, do you know how you say like cartoon in Japanese? Mm. 
anime. Anime, right? Yeah, that's their word for cartoon. So for them, that just is what a cartoon is. And for us, it's a Japanese style, typically shonen mm-hmm. version of it. A lot of people consider anime to be something that's like shonen like or just has the, the character style of like, you know, they base a lot of uh, anime characters design character design off of cats. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you I know did that. not know that. But yeah. that makes sense with the eyes and yep. stuff. Okay. Yeah, they base it off of cats to make them look cute, more desirable, make you want to look at them longer. Um, but there's that whole entire genre. And it's also a, a wavy, like a flexible definition. Like mm-hmm. we had a whole different conversation. But to put it in a nutshell, it really depends on where you're from, how, what you consider anime to be. Mm. Um, you know, because some people say it's not anime if it didn't premiere on like a Japanese in television Japan. thing. That's what I was told. I was told if it's not like, a, like okay, the boondocks. Like people would be like, that's an anime. But yeah. then people are like, no, it's not done by like a, a Japanese art house or whatever. Well, or it's not in, it didn't start off in Japan. Well, or like Avatar, The Last Airbender, you I, know. I could have sworn it was a, like for but the thing many is, years. But <laughs> the thing is, if you ask somebody in Japan, you say, what is this? They'll say, that's anime. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, who gets to decide what anime is? And also, there's been American-made cartoons that have premiered on Japanese channels before they premiered here. Really? Yes. Like what? Um, I don't know. that I Actually, because I went deep on this one time. I don't remember the names of it. Mm-hmm. But there's like a company based out of Texas that makes anime. S- uh, Sentai Filmworks. Sentai. Yes. They had a show that out. looks nothing like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It looks nothing like anything American. It looks very much so like a Japanese cartoon that is 100% American mm-hmm. that they had voiceover dubs and uh, they had dubs in Japanese. Yeah, you're right. And they premiered it in a Japanese uh, channel for the first time. And it's like, so is that anime? Yeah. Because it was made in the United States, but it premiered over there. It's still there. So it's just like a, it's a weird definition, but typically when you see the cat-faced people, you know you're probably faith you people? know you're probably in some form of anime space in my eyes. That's because it's for me. It's just too like you can't be like yo cow and chicken is anime. Like I don't think so. It, but to a Japanese person, be. it is. <laughs> they do have saying? fighting. If we're talking just <laughs> now, cow and chicken, hands. technically is yeah, shonen. Some hands. The devil does, <laughs> but for sure, the devil be taking them hands with that butt out. Oh man, um, super cow, super cow. You right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, y'all remember? You remember the, the butt out with the yeah, devil, right? Yeah, he was thick. Oh, he was mad thick. He, he used to walk on his booty. He had cheeks for days. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, God, I missed that show. Um, it's not like you missed his ass. How you? <laughs> God, I, mi- I remember that ass. That's, I'm just saying how you said it. Continue. I just, I can't with you sometimes. <laughs> All right, so anime. Let's talk about that a little bit okay. because that's something that I know quite a bit about. Mm-hmm. Um, is when you're thinking about anime and like the genesis of anime. It, it actually came from graphic novels or what you would call comic books. Mm-hmm. They call it manga. Mm-hmm. You know that, right? Manga. manga. I, saw it, I always say it wrong. <laughs> um, so we have manga, right? Mm-hmm. And manga became, you know, motion things. You know, it's like some of the earliest anime was like, what I said, Ninja Scroll or... Uh, what is it? I mean, I don't know the... Re- Fists of the North Star, which is okay. I was okay. actually reading about like toy... Animation studio, I because I I've been reading this book about uh, Miyazaki from mm-hmm. Ghibli. I can't remember. I just I Ghibli met Ghibli or Ghibli. Which is is which one is it? I thought it was Ghibli. I thought it was. G- I don't know. Okay. I'm asking. Right. <laughs> I always thought it was Ghibli. Studio but I mean, Ghibli, because I've heard Ghibli and I've heard Ghibli. I think it's Ghibli. I, I want to look it up now. I mean, I don't know how you look up the enunciation of a word. I I'm gonna look up him saying it. Okay, that's a good. One. All right, there you go. I'm not gonna do it now. That's smart. Can can one of y'all? I want to. <laughs> I want to know. All right. But we'll do it after. Please, okay. please, somebody remember, I have ADHD. All right, so like I was saying, there's a <laughs> lot of genres of anime now, though, because it's blown up. It's become one of the most popular types of popular types of media that people consume. Mm-hmm. Like, there's an, um, The best way to watch anime in general is there's an app called Crunchyroll. Love it. Crunchyroll is one of the most popular streaming services on the planet. Um, and you can pretty much find whatever you'll taste in anime there. And I could mean that literally because there are some anime, and gen- there's certain genres that are food anime. There's yep. sports anime. There's love anime. I there's, love the love. You know, there's shonen anime, which is the most popular. Yeah, it's shoujo. Um, yeah, it's just shonen anime typically means that it's like they quote unquote design the show for uh, young men, mm-hmm. young boys, so like 12 to 15 years old. And so most of the protagonists in those shows are that. So that's a shonen anime. Mm-hmm. And so you're looking at Bleach. You're looking at um, originally uh, Dragon Ball Z, which obviously he, he grew up, but still ended up. It's still it started off as a shonen anime. Um, almost everything, Naruto. Like you think of my any hero, of the big yeah. ones, My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, you know, any of the like Jujutsu Kaisen, mm-hmm. those are the new age ones. But you look at any of them, One Piece, is that these are made for them. Those are the biggest ones. Mm-hmm. But that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how deep anime can go. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I love it. I absolutely love anime. I think it's one of the greatest things ever because I believe that the storytelling is uninhibited by anything. 
They just be yeah. telling whatever stories they want. And, and like said, it's so many different genres and stuff like that. Like you can watch two shonen animes and they're completely different. I agree. Like they could be beating ass, but they're beating ass for different reasons. And it's it's I like I don't I feel like shoujo doesn't get enough love. I feel like there's a lot of like female led animated. A lot of people don't watch. I know people think of like Sailor Moon all the time, but Sailor Moon is actually pretty good. For example, Sailor Moon. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, Princess Jellyfish. Okay, what else? Um, if we're talking movies, Princess Mononoke. You're not gonna say Kill I Kill. Princess Mononoke is my it's favorite anime one movie of the ever. Favorite. So for me, actually, that's actually a good segue. Do you mm-hmm. mind? Is know. that um, I wanted to talk to you about like if somebody didn't know anything about anime, they feel intimidated by it. Mm-hmm. Like, what should they watch? Ooh, that's great. And so I was gonna say one of my recommendations easily. All the way. Princess Mononoke. Princess, Princess Mononoke. I think anybody would like that movie. The like, story's great. The an- once again, Ghibli Ghibli. The animation is beautiful. Insane. The, the the characters the characters and you can watch it and I'm I'm I don't wait, wait, watch wait. you think Princess Mononoke is a is a female led show I mean I movie? mean yeah it follows the guy yeah but she's the main person don't nobody give a shit really. about him nobody cares about the him, whole though. story follows him it does but it's but she's it's, a piece of but his it's story. about her though without but her there a, would be no story without him there'd be no story spirited away spirited away I go with that I'm just saying Princess Mononoke I don't think it's her don't nobody care about him what's his name. What's her? Okay, wow. <laughs> exactly. So, Pre- Princess Mononoke, because I also love those movies because you can watch it subbed or dubbed. I feel right. like both are great. Wait, so, let's talk about that. What is subbed and what is dubbed? Oh, thank you. Okay, so sub is subtitles. So, that is it's Japanese voice actors um, and their subtitles in English or whatever language that you speak that are at the bottom so you can follow along. And then dubbed is dubbed. If we're talking, because we speak English, and it's English-speaking voice actors, but there's also dub in other languages. Yes. Um. So yeah, I. Which do you prefer? Sub. Or sub. Dub? I'm going sub. Why? Because I, I, and it, it's different for different anime, right? But like a lot of times, stuff is lost in translation, yep. or they have to change what they're saying to fit the mouth. Mm-hmm. So like they they they'll change complete sentences for the dub actors, and sometimes you'll lose some of the stuff. Or like some of the effect of sentences or stuff like that in the dub. Mm-hmm. I'm actually learning Japanese. I feel like a lot of people that watch anime do like I'm learning so Japanese ka. so that. I... You like that? Was that good? I just wasn't expecting you to say anything in, <laughs> in Japanese. Japanese yeah, well, I watch a lot of anime. What you want? Uh, it's cool once you start like learning stuff in Japanese and you'll mm-hmm. hear like I'm like I know what that means. That means butt or that means sandwich, like stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer sub. Yep. Um, and I used to be like, I hate dub. I hate dub. But I'll. It depends. Yeah, it really it depends. depends on the show. And it depends on like what I'm doing. I try to just sit and watch anime, but sometimes like I don't have time and I just want it on. So that's when I watch dub. Dai Jove. <laughs> God. But yeah, I don't. I, she didn't know what I was saying. That's what, <laughs> she's like, I'm learning Japanese. And I'm over here like. No, I'm learning basic conversational Japanese. Dai Jove is pretty. I just started. Okay. Skoshi, right. sir. <laughs> Scoochie. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Uh which one do you prefer? Um, I prefer sub too. And the mm-hmm. reason I prefer subs is because I think that there's a certain level of integrity that comes along with the original mm-hmm. director um for the entire show being present with the voice voice actors giving them the direction of like the emotion. Because a lot of what comes through in anime is it's a very emotional experience mm-hmm. for most anime. And so the emotion through the voice actors, like sound of their voice, is really important to me. And if you're gonna dub that, as in like I say, as we, you explained, an English speaker, native English speaker, is going to imitate the performance of a Japanese speaking mm-hmm. voice person, then it's an imitation. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it's not the same level of emotion you're ever gonna get. Mm-hmm. And so for me, like I'd rather get what the original intent, feeling, sound of this, and be mm-hmm. able to read the words along with it. Now that there is drawbacks to sub. Yeah, I can't you, watch it in the background. You, you have to watch yeah, it. Yeah, you can't do anything else when you're watching no. sub because you have to. You have to at the same time you're reading the screen while watching what's going on, mm-hmm. and so it, it's, it's an acquired skill. So for me, when I speak about like getting people into anime, like why they want to get like what they should start watching first, I do not recommend sub. No, nah, I recommend watch that. like something like Princess Mononoke, which was a ori- like was, was some of the best dubbing you're gonna see because mm-hmm. originally it wasn't Japanese. Um, and it's like you can't tell the difference. Like I've never even seen Princess Mononoke in uh, Japanese. Have you? Oh, really? Yeah. No, I've only ever seen a, a mm-hmm. dub. You know, and so that for me, I only think of it in that. You know, and it's like the higher, the bigger, 
the bigger, more popular anime have really good dub. Yeah. For the most part. A lot of times they'll have like the original director sometimes in yeah. the room. So like with Ghibli, like I, I watch the behind the scenes stuff and mm -hmm. they'll like, it's very meticulous. Mm -hmm. Like they'll be like counting syllables. They'll be like this and this inflection. I was watching the one for like House Moving Castle. So like I was watching them like telling Christian Bale how to say the certain It's ridiculous to, to like cast that. for that. Yo, it, it was Christian Bale. It was the little boy from uh, uh, Hunger Games. Like mm -hmm. it, it's, it's great. Even in Princess Mono, they had Jada Pinkett Smith. So like, I it's think crazy. that's another good point is like if you want to get into anime, some of the easiest transition is Studio Ghibli movies. Um, because they da they have the imagination and the creativity of other anime, mm -hmm. um, but they also don't have the, the the ties of being only to Japanese culture. Yeah, like Studio Ghibli things are just like world pieces, mm -hmm. and like they did a really good job of being able to make take everything seriously, including the dubs in different languages. Mm -hmm. And so they got real actors like, instead yeah. of just like yeah, here's some random voice actor, you know. And so <sighs> they did that. <laughs> um, so I would say for me, I recommend that if you want to start off um, in anime. I would say, you know, depending on who you are, your demographic, mm -hmm. right? So if you're like a young boy, if you're like a, a preteen boy or something like that, I'd be like Dragon Ball Z. You know yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, what'd you say? I said you got to. Like, yeah, all, all day. Top. All day. Dragon Ball Z. If you're if you're a preteen, early teenager, I say Dragon Ball. Watch the fights. I'd actually even say more specifically, Dragon Ball Z Kai. Because um, they don't have the filler. And yeah. so if you don't know, we talk can we talk about the uh, Dra Dragon Ball Z universe for a second? Oh yes, of course. All right, so the Dragon Ball Z universe, we're gonna nerd out, is arguably the most popular anime there is. Probably not even arguably. I say the most popular anime of all time is Dragon Ball, the mm -hmm. Dragon Ball series, more uh, most notably Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. um, but there's there's a few different versions of this show. The pre the prequel or the first one that ever came out Dragon was called Dragon Ball. Ball, and that followed the uh, the adventures of Son Goku, an alien from a planet called Vegeta, mm -hmm. who uh, was sent to to Earth to uh, take over the planet, pretty much call it as he is a super powered alien, pretty much that could turn into a turn giant, to a monkey. Giant, giant monkey that could just destroy everything <laughs> or ape. Yeah, ape monkey. He ended up getting hit on his head, losing all the memories and the programming, raised by uh, his grandpa Gohan, and then going on a bunch of misadventures to find these magical cre things called... Who he killed. Are we doing sports? He did kill him. Yeah, he did kill him. <laughs> he killed him on accident, turning into the giant ape. Mm -hmm. um, and then he went on a bunch of adventures to find these magical things built by Namekians, another alien on Earth, called Dragon Balls. And the Dragon Balls grant you any wish, any one wish. You get all seven of them, they scatter. Every time you make a wish, they scatter all over the planet. And then you have to go find them all. And that's what most mm -hmm. of the first show was, Dragon Balls. They go find the, the Dragon Balls and they try to make wishes. It was very funny. It was, like, cute. It, it was, was very immature. Yeah. It was very sexual. I don't know. If, I watched it recently, so I'm just like, oh, yes, it, Like, Goku walking the, around touching people's, like, The movies genitals. and stuff. Like, I had gotten in trouble one time because we were in a movie and we went to my aunt's house who was, like, super, super duper Christian. And, like, like Goku used to get beat up and would be naked. Yeah. And they would have his meat out. Oh, and I didn't know so, that. So, yeah, like, so it was this little yeah. child's meat out. And so, yeah, we were watching it, and he got beat up, and he was naked, and he was, like, in the water, and his meat was out. Mom was like, turn that off and go pray. I'm like, they, they ah. Doing, <laughs> go pray. That's hilarious. But they was doing too much. I they, agree. They were doing a so lot. So that was Dragon Ball. And then Dragon Ball Z was the adventures of adult Goku. Mm -hmm. um, and that spread out from the Earth to the universe, pretty much, because they're aliens, and so now the whole alien universe has got involved. They yeah, everybody to, know what's up now. Everybody know what's up. We get into aliens. And then after that. But um, also, that was fight. Like yeah, they was, you want to see fight? They that's, scrapping. That's fight. Dragon Ball Z is like we right. We here to scrap. <laughs> Ain't no power jokes. Levels. It's jokes, this is, but they fight. If you ever heard, you know, he's over. His yeah. Power levels over nine thousand. That's a Dragon Ball Z reference um, because they started to quantify the different powers in that in that mm -hmm. show, which became a whole thing across all different genres of anime. Yep. Um, and then from there came Dragon Ball GT, which did not have the original creators of Dragon Ball Z and in it. You could tell, and it was terrible. So don't watch that. But then they came back and said, you know what? Screw Dragon Ball GT. Let's make Dragon Ball Super that starts right mm -hmm. at the end of Dragon Ball Z. Right, and that is what's still ongoing to this day. The last episodes came out in 2018. Mm. Um, so that would be what I would recommend. What would you mm -hmm. recommend for, let's say, somebody that's in their 20s or 30s? Once they'll start 20s or 30s. Man or man, men or women. You can give you one hmm. for both or what? what do you think? I will say probably one of the best animes I've watched that's like extremely simple and like really funny is Psyche K. I've never seen Psyche it's, K. It's, it's so funny. The, I think it's the whole title is like the disastrous life of Psyche K. It's on Netflix. Okay. So most people have Netflix. Um, there's not a whole lot you need to understand. Okay. You can just watch it. It's is it super a goofy. Dub? So it's 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 weird because they be switching the fun to make all that stuff, but it's one I think the last season they don't have it dubbed. So but, but get into it. You can start watching it. You can start watching, watching it, it subbed or dubbed. It'll be in English. That's I actually important. like the dub a little bit better, which I never say. Okay. Um, and it's not like arcs. 
So it's like episodic. So you right. can watch. It doesn't need to connect. You can just come in and watch it. But it's the story of this teenage boy who is a psychic. And he's just extremely OP. Like, he can do all of this stuff. And it sounds like Mob Psycho. But no, but it's funny. Mob Psycho is well, no, hilarious. Like, but it's, it's more so goofy. Mob Psycho is hilarious. I Reagan? It. I just started. Okay. <laughs> but it's it's like... It, it it's, it's not even like a full episode. It's almost like... Kind of like a... Not like sketch comedy, but kind of. It's like, it'll be like three or four different things that happen in one episode. Like, it'll be one, like, he's going to the store and he's having to talk to a cat. Okay. And then it'll cut to something else and it's like this. So, it's it, you can watch it. You can kind of come in and out. If you miss something, you didn't miss anything. And it's just him dealing with being a psychic and being in high school and dealing with his friends. Okay. So, very simple. Hilarious. You don't need to know anything. You can just watch it. And if you miss something, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, so I make one counter recommendation. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to get a little bit more, if you're like I like action, um, but I, I, you know, Dragon Ball might not be the thing. Is too I, I don't want to so see long. people blasting people with powers and stuff like that. Then I say you can go into one of the more popular anime that exists right now, which would be called Demon Slayer. Oh, um, Demon Slayer has a really good dub, um, so you can watch it in English. And the 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 thing that's probably the most powerful thing about Demon Slayer is the pace of the show. Yeah, is that it has a pace of this show that you will never have a moment of boredom watching it is that things like they, they one of the things active. <laughs> one of the things that anime is known for is having arcs what mm -hmm. an arc is is the a whole storyline associated with that world and that character mm -hmm. so for example like in dragon ball z they like okay we're gonna do a training arc mm -hmm. and so there'll be a whole part of the show or like hunter hunter we'll have a whole part it. of the show is all that's happening for x amount like 10 15 20 episodes is mm -hmm. their training and learning how to be more powerful. And then that leads into the next arc of like, whatever villain arc or whatever kind of thing's going to go. Mm -hmm. The arcs are just like the storylines. Yep. You know, so like storylines come and they, they come and they go in anime because they normally last for a long time. But Demon Slayer doesn't even really have arcs. Mm -hmm. It literally just has seasons. Yeah. It's like, um, this is it. Here we go. <laughs> like, this is it. <laughs> and so like there was like, there's like the best example of the speed of this show is in, let's say, one of the more popular traditional anime like... Uh, Hunter Hunter. Mm -hmm. A training arc might last anywhere from four to ten episodes, mm -hmm. right? In Demon Slayer, the training arc lasted one episode. Yeah, he was he was done. <laughs> it was over. <laughs> you know, and every time, and every time I'm they trained. have a training thing, it's one episode, normally less than one episode, which is breakneck speed for anime. But mm -hmm. for somebody who doesn't want to have to have the patience to be able to watch all these episodes to get to understand something, then you're looking at something like Demon Slayer because mm -hmm. you're going to be able to watch three episodes, know everything about the world, know everything about the characters, yep. have introduced all the right people, and a villain has been identified, and you know yeah, where and you're headed. You know, and it's beautiful, Gorgeous. like the animation, like the fighting is is everything. dope. Like it, it's like you said, the voice acting is good. Incredible. It's funny. Yep. It's like sad. It has it's, everything. It's yeah, whatever is, emotion you want to feel is in that show. The only thing that I would say the drawback of watching Demon Slayer as your first anime is that it's going to spoil you. Because yeah. this is the top tier. This is the cream of the crop. This is as good as it's going to get. You'll find other shows that are as good. Um, but this show right here is it's it. Like This is this is as good as it gets right now, Facts. contemporary anime. Um, so, all right, I think that's about enough about anime. You want to move on? Sure. All right. I love move, anime. I we moving on. I know. I could talk about day. it forever. <laughs> um, let's, talk, let's go into our rage quit section. Ooh, um, okay. So this is a section where we're talking about um, something that you, as a nerd, we defined nerd in the last episode, right? Mm -hmm. And we talked about what it is to be a nerd, what it means to you, how it works. So today, let's talk about like your nerd failures. Okay. So we're calling it a rage quit, but like you started to nerd into something and then just it just it fell flat. Just... So when has that ever happened to you? All the time. Wow. Uh, okay. I <laughs> because I, I I just you know I yeah. like a lot of stuff and I I want to. It's also like I have a lot of friends and they'll be telling me about stuff and I want to get into it it's a way to connect with your friends and stuff like that but like mm -hmm. i it's just a lot of stuff i don't like and a lot of my friends really like gory stuff mm -hmm. or like murder and i don't like that so like whenever it's anything like that and it starts getting too gory or too nasty i'm like i'm out right so one and i just feel like this is blasphemy but like game of thrones oh wow game of thrones i could not i Wow. I know everything that happened in Game of Thrones. I didn't see that. Like I, I read some of this. I could not watch it. So I was introduced to Game of Thrones. The first thing I ever saw was the Red Wedding. Oh shit! Yeah. Like, okay. I did. Yeah, you can't start there. Because <laughs> I was on another podcast, yeah. and my friend was. They were talking about Game of Thrones, and I hadn't seen it. And we watched the clip, and I was like, "They yeah. cutting babies out." I was like, "Oh, this is not for me." But yeah. I, 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 went, I tried to go into it and get it. I'm like, 
oh, this is incest. It's a lot. It's a lot of murder. Yeah. It's so much murder. And yeah. like my stomach would the be The first hurting. season doesn't have a lot of murder at all. I, I just. <laughs> I'm just saying like the show starts off hella slow. I like it's literally just like oh look we're going well on, i started on a hike. at the red wedding and wolves. i just kept going from there no if you go back the thing is they set it up they make it so that like the violence the violence it's has an impact up. it's not just like violence for violence sake at all mm. like there's a lot of violence but it's like well done violence in my opinion but up until the last season there was a lot going on okay um that and the same for the same reason like walking dead I don't fuck with the walking it dead it was too much i it's too and i like same i started in the middle <laughs> and then I, I went back and I was like, I don't like the pacing of this. It's, it's, it, it, I don't like how it makes me feel. Like, right. I feel creepy. Like, I don't, it, I see why somebody would like it, but I'm like, this is not, this is not for me. Okay. I, I don't like it. I'm with that. Um, Watch it. What about me? I would say I've had a few. Um, I'm going to probably, since we were talking about animation and anime and stuff, I would say like an anime that I'm about to get crucified for this. I'm like, I actually hesitated saying this, you. but I have a good reason for it. Um, one that fell flat for me was Naruto. Yeah, I know. I know. So, the thing is, you can have that reaction, but the thing is, I would point out a couple things. First and foremost, I had an outside influence. Uh, one of my good friends in college, when I was about to start watching Naruto the first time, was a complete dick about it. Okay. You know, so, like, I, like, I was, I was all into Bleach. I've seen every single episode of Bleach. Mm -hmm. There's six, seven hundred episodes of Bleach. It's insane. It's a lot. You know, there's a lot of episodes of Bleach. I watched all of it in one summer, right? And I was like, mm -hmm. I'm all in. It was amazing. Great summer. Um, but he was just like, no, nah, it's the greatest anime ever made. And I'm just like, well, Bleach is pretty great because I was in the middle of watching it. He's like, nah, mm -hmm. man, you don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. It's the greatest thing ever made. This is dumb that you'd watch anything else. You're so <laughs> stupid. How can you be so stupid yeah, and not watch this? He set the bar. He set it way too high. So I, w I just was like, I'm not watching the dumb show now. And so then, like, probably about a, like a year ago, maybe, we were doing the animation and Ice. Um, Ice McGowan would mm -hmm. not let it go because that's his favorite anime. Yeah. He's like, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. I was like, okay, I'm going to watch 30 episodes of Naruto. That's not so, enough. Exactly. <laughs> so I sat down and I watched 30 episodes of Naruto and nothing fucking happened. <laughs> like in 30 that's episodes, the first 30 episodes of Naruto are not good. I don't care. It, the thing is, it's not. The thing is, I, when's the last time you watched the first 30 episodes of the first Naruto? It's not, not good. Not for a while. So that's what I'm saying though. And it came out around the time of like when Dragon Ball came out. Mm -hmm. It came out around the time when, um, what's it called? The one with the little uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm -hmm. Those shows. The first 30 episodes of, of those Dragon two Ball. Shows are good. I watched them recently. Had, okay. We're really good. But as good as the rest? No, but good. But watchable is what I'm saying. Naruto was hard to watch. It's not. I, 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 I don't you, think when's it's When's the last hard time to... you watched the first I episodes? Have... Okay, so I, I got into Naruto late. I get so, it. When's the last time you watched the first 30? Like the thing is, I can understand. It, it's, it's, for me, this is within a year of now. And the thing I'm is, gonna, gonna, and I might gonna, be spoiled because I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm watching, yeah. Bleed, you know, Bleed <laughs> anime, you know, other things. But for me, that one fell flat simply because of all the shit everybody's been talking. I gave so it 30 weird. episodes. So you got to imagine 30 episodes yeah, is 22 minutes. Like 22 minutes <laughs> times 30. And I'm know. not entertained. And I'm just like, these fights are not good. So three episodes is an hour. 600-ish? Okay, I can't minute? Just the, A rule of thumb would be three episodes is an hour. I watched 30. Think about that. How many is that? Oh, no, sweetie. I'm <laughs> 10 hours. 10 hours. It's 10 I hours. The there math. you go. I knew it. So it's 10 hours. We're mathing. Nerds, we're supposed to be nerds. What's up? Hey, uh -huh. different knowledges. Whatever. I taught math, too. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, and English. They just You're bad me. at math and talking. I, that's a lie. Now, okay. that's a lie. So, like I was saying, 10 hours. I put 10, 10 hours. hours. The thing is, show me any other piece of content that I could put 10 hours to and not understand what's going on or not care. A lot. Like what? Quantum I wait. Fit it? Physics? I said any other show. Like, <laughs> something that's meant to be entertainment. Like that another anime. Physics, physics anime. <laughs> another anime that you can put 10 hours 10 into hours. and be like, eh, I don't know. I put 10 hours into One Naruto. Piece, there's a lot of people that don't like the beginning part of One Piece. The first 30 episodes? There's a thousand... I'm, we're talking episodes. about 30 episodes. I got to remember what the first... I liked it, but yeah. So there's all I'm saying is, like, I bet you go back and watch the first 30 episodes, and you can be like, well, okay. Well, now I have to. Yeah, you're like, it wasn't as good as I thought. Um, So I might go back to it eventually, but right now I'm more in the one I, piece. Once you get past it, I all think right. you'll be let's all right. Get, let's go into the show and That's tell. That's the only one? Oh, we're going to show and tell? Yeah, we're going to show and tell. Um, You want, you want to go first? You look excited. You no, really, I was looking. You put your whole arms up like, oh, I look at you dropping stuff. my item. Oh, well, I can go first while you look for your item. Well, no, it's right there. You want to go? Yeah, I go. <laughs> All right, so I think the first episode I talked about being a drone pilot. Oh, man, this thing's heavier than I thought it was. Being a drone pilot. So I brought mm -hmm. a couple drones. Um, 
my favorite current drone, my favorite current drone right now, is the newest, well, second newest version of the Mavic drone. So this is what my drone case looks like, Ooh. as you can see. Um, this is about six thousand dollars worth of drone oh! right here. Um, this is a professional uh, drone, a single flyer drone for a drone cinematographer. Can I touch like it? I said, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you gonna let me hold it? Yeah, it's called a Mavic Three Cine. Um, and so it shoots. If you know any, if you're a camera nerd or anything like that, this shoots 5.1K in, um, in Apple ProRes, which is insane. It also shoots it flat, so you can pretty much match the footage of this drone to any camera there is for the most part. Let me show you how to open it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the way you open it is there's a little latch up here. This is a DJI drone, so pretty much DJI took over all the drones. They're really the only li viable camera drone you can buy as a DJI. Mm -hmm. You just take off the strap. And then oh, I was never going to get that. There it is. And then there's a little thing in here to hold the gimbal safe. But that right there is a camera. It opens up. As you can see. So it opens up and that's how it looks when it's in the air. Um, obviously it needs a battery. So this is the batteries. This one flies for about on average. Yeah, don't just don't touch the camera. Um, this, this camera? Right on the front. Um, this one flies on average for about 32 minutes, That's crazy. 30, 30, 34 minutes up to the most, depending on what we're doing. Um, but yeah, this is my baby. Um, I love this drone. Um, it's extremely stable. Great footage. What's up? So this is the camera. And these are you want to talk in your microphone? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're over here leaning excited. so hard. So this is a camera and these are cameras. So that's actually a really good question. Um, technically, they're sensors. Mm -hmm. um, so these are sensors because, you know, obviously one thing that people worry about a lot when they're flying a drone is crashing it or, you know, having something bad happen because that happens a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so this drone is extremely advanced. It has multi uh, sensors all over it that make it so it's extremely difficult to crash this into anything. So these are optical sen sensors, otherwise known as cameras, um, that can sense things around it. It also has sonic sensors um, on the bottom That's as well cool. as more optical sensors. And then there's the sonic infrared and all that, you know, it's like it pretty much has every kind of sensor that you can imagine to make it so that it can not only measure its own speed, mm -hmm. trajectory, it can measure every kind of piece of telemetry that you want. It can, you know, it can do anything pretty much. And it also has an SSD inside of it so that if it's going to shoot ProRes and 5.1K, you can't really write that to a micro SD card. So there's an actual SSD, a solid state hard drive inside of this drone. So when you want to pull the footage off of it, you actually have to, you plug into the butt. <laughs> yeah, you put a little butt plug in it with the USB C. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I knew you, I knew you, <laughs> you did help not yourself. have to say that. Okay, um, but yeah. But yeah, you, you plug into it like that. That's cool. Um, and you get all the footage off of it. So this is my baby. How long does it take to like charge the battery and stuff? Um, batteries don't take that long. So like the batteries probably take from completely dead, maybe like thirty minutes to charge. Really? Thirty, or maybe up to an hour. Just depends on like what you're plugged into. Can I see the remote? Yeah, here you go. The remote looks like a video game. Controller. Oh, that's cool. Right. <laughs> Um, it looks like, like I said, it looks like a video game controller. That's actually how I got into drones, is that I was on set one day in 2014, I think, and somebody brought one of these oldest, crappiest, crappiest drones, or actually old now, but back then it was brand new. Brought this crappy drone to set and did, had no idea what they were doing. The drone was not flying correctly, and they just didn't, they just weren't good with their hands. They didn't have good coordination, and I was watching them, and I was just like, bro, like, can I try? And he's like, you know, he was very rude to me. He was an asshole. He was just like, get away, kind of thing. Like, you ain't shit. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, like, you don't know, shut up. And I was just like, fuck you. And I went I went by my own. Um, <laughs> that's how I got into drones. That That's such a Brennan story. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> how, um, so, like, what is on the, so that's 6,000. Like, on the cheap end, how much, like. Can, well, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish. If you want a toy drone that just, mm -hmm. like, I'm just flying around for fun, you can get them for, like, $20, $30. What about one for, okay, let's say I want one, like, legit to do content. Okay. Not on a high level, it's just for, like, 500. social media. 500? Yeah. You can get a good one for like $500. Oh, I want a drone now. Yeah. I mean, I can teach you how to fly it. It's actually pretty simple. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is a... Uh, I, I have a lot of drones. <laughs> like, I have a is lot. That your, is that what you collect? Uh, I don't collect them. I use them. I make well, money. Well, I know you use them, but like, Every is that drone, your thing? Um, it was for a while. This is one of the things I learned out for a while. Like I said, I have a YouTube channel that was dedicated to drones, and that was the, one of the things. So, you know, there's different kinds of ways you can fly drones, too. So this is a traditional cinematography drone. And I also brought one more. Um... The other drone I brought is, I didn't even build it, um, but this is actually the first DJI uh, FPV drone. Now, this doesn't look like a typical FPV drone. FPV means first person view. There you go. Um, but the idea being is, you ever seen somebody flying a drone and they have goggles on? Mm -hmm. Like drone racing? 
that's what FPV is. You're look, you're flying from the first oh. person view of the drone, and so that's a completely different way and per a completely different perspective of, of flying. Whereas on this one, you're looking at a screen or you're looking up at the drone. This one, you are the eyes of the drone. You're looking through that camera. That's the only thing you can see is through there. And you normally can fly significantly faster in those. That's and you can cool. go through significantly. Like they don't. This one doesn't have sensors on it. it Outside of that right there, the only sensor it has is to land. And okay, that's because this is a fun. DJI drone. So this one has a little bit more technology in it than a normal one. But normally people actually make their own. They solder their own versions of these. Yeah. You can put the, you know, the motors together and all that. Or you can buy kits that you can put together. Um, they're very, they're a lot cheaper. FPV drones are a lot cheaper, but they also crash a lot more. Mm. They're significantly more difficult to fly, um, but they're also significantly more fun because it feels like you're playing like a really intense, like like pod racing on like Star Wars. Mm -hmm. It's like that. That's dope. That's what it feels like. So, so camera here. What yeah. are these in the front? Um, those are sensors. So, so sensors, this one. So this one. Land? The reason I brought this one. This is like a hybrid cinematography drone slash FPV drone. Mm -hmm. As you see on the front, it says DJI. It was made by the same company as this one. Okay. So this is their first time making one. So they were nervous about making an FPV drone that didn't have all the safety features and gotcha. the things that everybody's used to flying on a DJI drone. So they put all of it on here. And then the next version they put out was like, nah, let's actually make a racing drone. And that okay. was called the, uh, man, I can't remember. It starts with an A. But either way, Avada. They created the Avada. Mm -hmm. um, and that drone is for real. So this one's fun. You can make some cool stuff out of it. But the Avada came out and it blew this thing out the water. So, so I have that one. Too. That one's to film. This one is it's you the hybrid. This one too. Okay, but the but the other one you were saying like it doesn't. You only really use it to race. Is that? It's not to can? race. It's just a different style of filming. Okay. So like DJI is a drone filming company. Okay. So if you just want to drone race, that's a whole different. That's when you're really soldering and building your own stuff. Gotcha. But to do cinematography, DJI is like we'll make all the drone cinematography stuff. Because the racers started putting GoPros on their drones and doing wild shit. Like, uh, okay. like you've probably seen some stuff like people flying under like cars mm -hmm. and doing all that kind of stuff. That's not this drone. That is the FPV drone. And so mm -hmm. they started doing crazy stuff like that. And so the directors, like, we, directors money. started wanting yeah. it. And they said, well, we want, you know, money can be made with these. And so That's cool. now they're starting to use them in cinematography. And so, of course, DJI jumped on board. That's dope. That's my, that's my show and tell. That's for sure. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, you fucking with me? What's up? No, not at all. So I'm going to, since we're on the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a thing. All right, since we're on the topic of animation, okay. I'm going to actually show you one of my tattoos. So I actually want like a whole lot of tattoos. I have a Goku tattoo. I can't show y'all because it's up here on my pants. But I want to show you my Lion King tattoo. Oh, so I have that's a, dope. I have a Lion King tattoo. I love that. <laughs> that's the Rafiki drawing. Yeah, it's yeah, the Rafiki yeah. drawing. I'm, I actually need to get it updated because it had like watercolor on there and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to tell a story about it. So... I got this tattoo from my dad. My dad passed away in 2015, right? And that. so I liked him a lot. <laughs> I love my dad. Yeah. So like, but we used to watch all the movies. We had a movie theater behind our house. Mm -hmm. So we used to watch like, every single movie. And like Lion King growing up was always one of my favorite movies. So when my dad passed away, like I was getting ready for the funeral and my dad was like a bigger dude, like husky, kind of had like a really deep voice. Never would have So guessed. like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, who would have known? <laughs> they have six foot. So, yeah. And so he had this, like, really, like, deep, booming voice. And so we always used to call him, like, Mufasa. Oh. So, like, we're getting ready for the funeral. And I'm, like, I'm trying to keep it together and all this stuff. And then I hear Mufasa talking. And I go in the living room, and my daughter's watching Lion King. And it's at the scene where, like, Simba's talking to the water, and he's talking to Rafiki. And he's, like... You know, the whole remember who you are and all this remember. kind of stuff. Remember. Remember. Oh, and he flies away. It's just yeah. such a dope. It's a beautiful scene. But, like, I was like, for this to come on while this is going on, while I'm feeling these things, like, okay. So Lion King has always been my favorite movie. But, like, after that, I was like, I need yeah. something to symbolize that. So I got this. I got this one. And I'm going to get the other one, you know, where he gets where the main. Because that's when he's like, ah. Oh, yeah, with the main. Cause that's when you like come into your purpose, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I feel like this is a long story, but so my dad is the reason like I do comedy. Right. Like he got me into comedy. I was kind of doing YouTube videos, and I had like literally just started. I've been doing it maybe like a month or two, and he was like, "You should try stand up. Like you're really funny. You write. You should try stand up." And so I, he used to go to like open mics for me, and like, cause I'm late, and he would go like sign me up and all of that kind of stuff. So like, as my career is growing and stuff like that, I always want to like keep that in mind. Like my dad. And just like, I wouldn't be here without him. Right. So I'm like, when I get on, like when I feel like I'm at the point where I'm like, I can look around, I feel successful. I want to get the other one with the main, which symbolizes like me coming into 
where who who I am and where I want to be. I can't believe how similar of a story I have to that. Really? <laughs> With tattoos. Like That's I'm going to say real real quick, mm -hmm. but I have this tattoo right here on my left arm. And that may or may not be able to see. Um, and with, that's in Thai. Mm -hmm. I got this in Thailand. Mm -hmm. It was my first time doing an independent project. And it says risk. <laughs> so, because for me, there's no risk, no reward. Mm -hmm. And so, when I, whenever I get to the point where I feel like I'm super, like I'm successful and I made it in the sense of like, that's what I, I did it, I'm here. I'm going to get wherever I'm at, whatever the language is of wherever the place I am, because I like to be gone everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get reward written over here. Oh, that's fire. On the other side. <laughs> so just like, wow, that's crazy. So yeah. that's dope. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's really dope. And I think just to like wrap it right, like animation and anime and all of this can like, I don't think people understand like how much it can like make you feel mm -hmm. just like period. Like it's like you have something that you can look at that like reflects your feelings and stuff like that. I don't know. So yeah. No, I'm here. That's mm -hmm. that was. Thank you for sharing that. that thank was you. Dope. Thank you for sharing that. Was fire. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I, you thought like episode one, you were questioning like you really do draw. Like, you still I questioning? You, you look like you do. <laughs> like what does that <laughs> even mean? What does that even mean? You, what does a drone pilot look like? <laughs> Normally look like a white dude. while you playing? All right, guys. Thank you for checking out another episode of How to Nerd. Um, so you know, we did reference a lot of things in this episode. So if you want to learn anything about the things we was talking about, or at least see the spelling of it below in the comment section or the section below, the information section, you'll be able to see all of it. Um, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. We got a Patreon that you can watch these episodes live and participate because, you know what I'm saying, you might be able to ask questions while we're doing it. Who knows? Um, so please sign up for that. And as, I, as always, we appreciate you guys, and y'all stay nerdy.